Let's turn to Australia, where tennis superstar Novak Djokovic is out of detention after a judge ruled he can have a visa allowing him to play in the upcoming Australian Open. The judge agreed that organizers gave the world's number one tennis player a proper medical exemption to the country's COVID laws. Roxana Saberi reports on the decision that could still be overruled by immigration officials. Fans of the world's top men's tennis star erupted into cheers moments after his legal victory. After an hours long remote hearing, the judge swiftly ordered the government to restore Novak Djokovic's visa, which it had canceled when he landed. According to a transcript, Djokovic had told a border official he wasn't vaccinated and that, quote, they've allowed to have the medical exemption for the COVID vaccination. I applied, they approved. I just really don't know what else do you want me to say? The judge appeared to agree, asking what more could this man have done? The government had argued prior infection is not a valid reason to delay vaccination. Rules are rules. And there are no special cases. The possibility that Djokovic may be playing by different rules outraged some Australians who have lived under some of the world's toughest COVID restrictions. Adding to the controversy, Djokovic said he'd tested positive on December 16th, though he appeared unmasked at events in the following days. How well do you think he's going to play after all of this? He's going to be very angry, very fired up. He's going to to want to win, and he always performs very well in Australia. But Djokovic might not even get to that stage. The Serbian athlete may still be deported. The government could decide to cancel his visa again tomorrow. The Australian Open is set to begin a week from today. Tony? Out of Australia, Novak Djokovic has won a legal battle challenging the cancellation of his Australian visa. It's a COVID vaccine dispute that has made headlines all around the world. Now, we do expect to hear from Djokovic about the decision in the near future. But in the meantime, we've already heard from his supporters celebrating his release from detention. Chaotic scenes a little earlier in Melbourne, police having to intervene with pepper spray as a large crowd swarmed the office of Djokovic's lawyer. Now, this could be important because the off-court controversy may not be over just yet. The Australian government could still stop Djokovic from defending his Grand Slam title next week. Freelance journalist Rochelle Harrison Plass is tracking all of the new developments for us in Sydney today. And we're going to talk about the judge's ruling in just a moment. But the fallout from this, some breaking details, Rochelle, and the reaction to the decision today. Let's start there. Good morning, Heather. Well, the Novak Djokovic supporters uh, uh, gathered outside uh, the Federal Circuit Court this evening uh, in Melbourne, celebrating his victory, as we saw uh, from those images there. There was a party atmosphere as they waved Serbian flags and sang Serbian songs. Later, they gathered outside the lawyer's office, as you mentioned, where the uh, tennis star had actually watched the hearing. Uh, but scenes of jubilation quickly descended into chaos amid rumours he was not being released as per the judge's order. Uh, so things got very, very rowdy and police were forced to use pepper spray in a bid to disperse the crowds. Now, while Novak Djokovic is a free man tonight, the uh, saga might not be over just yet. Uh, uh, we have heard from the Australian Immigration Minister, Alex Hawke, in a statement released this evening. Uh, he said that he has the uh, personal ministerial power to cancel uh, Djokovic's uh, visa on new grounds, uh, uh, that his decision not to get vaccinated against COVID-19 is uh, a public health threat. They, those are the grounds uh, that the visa could be cancelled, upon which the visa could be cancelled, excuse me, and therefore deport him from Australia. And so in a statement, uh, he said he is still uh, considering uh, a decision and the process is ongoing. Uh, so we need to keep an eye on those developments over the next day or so, because we are expecting uh, possibly a decision from the immigration minister. Alex Hall. 
Heather, it was a matter of timing. 48 minutes is what it came down to. Judge Anthony Kelly of the uh, Federal Circuit Court uh, ruled that uh, Djokovic was not given enough time to consult others and respond fully uh, to the decision by the Australian government to cancel his visa. Uh, the judge said it was uh, unreasonable to cancel Djokovic's visa at 7.42 a.m. on Thursday morning after he was told that he could have until 8.30 a.m. to respond. Uh, now, this decision means that uh, the tennis star has been released from hotel detention. We don't know, however, where he is exactly at this point. Uh, his passport has been returned to him, uh, but the government has been ordered to pay legal fees. Uh, but like I said, there is still this uh, option that's on the table for the Australian federal government. Uh, will they end up using it? Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on uh, developments tomorrow. We'll, we'll know by then. Rochelle, thank you very much. Rochelle Harrison Plass, who is in Sydney this morning. Are you listening? Damn.